Royston, congratulations, the first one under your belt. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was a good experience. Um, I liked it a lot. It was a, it was a good learning curve, apart from being out of the ring for two years. Uh, getting back in there in my first professional fight, I thought I'd done extremely well. Yeah, it's the first time I've seen you in the flesh, and I've got to say, I was very impressed. You had a good command of the centre of that ring. Yeah, um, that's what we've been working on the gym, working on cutting the ring off. Obviously, it didn't look that good compared to the opponent I was boxing. No disrespect to anybody in sport. It takes a lot of guts to climb through them ropes. Um, he wasn't there to stand and fight. He, he ran away a little bit, but um, I thought we'd done a good job on him. And the fact is, as well, I mean, you know, obviously, any fighter likes like a knockout. You're greedy. You, you like everyone like that, especially on your debut. But you've been out for a while. It's nice to get them rounds under your belt. Oh, yeah. Um, I did like, uh, I sort of missed the ring, to be honest with you. I'd, like, I didn't want to leave it at the end to get out of it. Yeah. But um, it's, what can you do about it? And just, I just can't wait to get in for the next one and keep the ball, uh, keep the ball move, uh, on the roll now. And barely a hair out of place, mate. I know you had it cut specially before the fight, didn't yeah. you? Um, yeah, I, I like to do that before a box. Get me a nice fresh haircut, a nice shower and uh, get ready in there. And going back home to watch it, I suppose? Uh, yeah, definitely. going to uh, finish off watching the rest of the boxing and um, then go home and uh, reassess what we've done wrong and what we've done good and uh, keep working forwards. Okay, I'm just going to bring Ben in. Ben, how are you doing? All good, thank you. Good stuff. Uh, it looks good, this lad. Yeah, for sure. He's got a big, big uh, future ahead of him, uh, no doubt about it. And it's just about experience and, uh, you know, that's the, that's the first notch on the belt for him. So you've not been together with him that long, have you? Am I right in saying it's only been... Yeah, a few, mu a few months, uh, about October, November, yeah, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what a stable he's coming into. You've had a busy few weeks. Yeah, March has been absolutely manic. But, um, yeah, you know, it's great for... For him, you know, and great for the other lads as well, and they all help bring each other on, and uh, he couldn't be in better company. Yeah, you were saying, weren't you, done a bit of sparring with Josh? Yeah, um, yeah how, did, how did that go? Very good, you know. For, we knew that Jack was going to be trying to look to bring Josh uh, into the left hands, and we specifically put Royston in there to, to be working on that, and um, he was a massive help in preparation for that. And what do the other boys make of this new kid on the block? Have they sort of taken him into their hearts? Yeah, they all love him. They all think that he's, you know, they're all like, oh, he's, he's very, very good, and uh, which he is. You know, he's got a big future ahead of him, and it's just experience under the belt. He's only ever boxed two-minute rounds, um, and there he's boxed a man, small gloves, three-minute rounds, a lot to deal with there. Um, and we was banging on and on and on about composure because that is what stands out to us. Is is, is that's what we want and. Uh, that's what he showed, and that, that, was, uh, that was important because that was what we was looking for, and that's what he showed. Well, I did wonder, I, I said to him, I know you know, he's got very good amateur pedigree, a couple of European titles. I did wonder, like, on the big stage, whether, you know, because it's happened before, whether he might freeze or not, but he seems to take everything in his stride. Very, very confident young man. Um, you know, dim, very calm, and that showed in his performance, I think. As I said, he showed a composed, um, had a composed performance and that's what we were looking for. And Royston, what can you say about this man next year? Um, definitely one of the best coaches in the game, without a doubt the best coach in England at the minute. Uh, without, that, that's, that's what I think in my own personal opinion and, and a lot of people don't, but I, w I wouldn't be with this man and put trust into this man with my uh, boxing career if I didn't think it. Um, I've got to say thank you for the rest of the team like Lee Wiley and, and, and Barry Smith for being a part of it and training me and um, making a better boxer out of me. And, and the other side of the coin is, you are a good trainer, you've got two world champions in the stable, you're not going to take on anyone you don't think is not going to be right for you. No, for sure, I'm not going to waste my time with people that, look, it's all about world champions and uh, Royston will be a world champion. And just before we go, that fight last week, I mean, a lot of people have said, I, I saw one headline, was this the best fight ever? Uh, Eddie was saying it was the best fight he's ever seen, um, a lot of people have said that and... Uh, it was an amazing fight, an unbelievable fight. Lee Wood showed, you know, he's a special, special human being as a person, but he showed that he's a special, special fighter as well. Yeah, and I, I mean, yeah, I, I, you just transfixed watching it. I mean, I've, obviously I was, wasn't there, but just watching at home was just in incredible. Oh, it was unbelievable. I've, I've been in some, uh, some dramatic situations with a Tyson Fury 12th round, Deontay Wilder, and then that fight there reminded me of it when Lee Wood went down the first, you know. Um, but that was Lee Wood's big moment, as was that Tyson's uh, against Deontay Wilder, and had to give him the bet, the, you know, every possible chance. And uh, both guys proved it was the right decision to make to, to let him keep fighting. Well, okay. Now you've mentioned the big white, uh, the big man's name. Uh, he's got a fight coming up against Dillian White. How do you see that going? 
Yeah, I think it depends on how Tyson approaches the fight. He's a very versatile fighter. Tyson's got many, uh, many different tricks up his sleeve, and um, I think it depends on how he approaches the fight. It depends on how competitive the fight is and how entertaining the fight is. Oh, it sounds like you're sitting on the fence there a bit, mate. Would you, do you think no, Tyson would win? Yeah, I think Tyson can win any, by any means necessary. He's a brilliant inside fighter, Tyson. Um, but he's a masterful boxer at distance as well with a, with a bag full of tricks. So I think that how competitive the fight is will depend on how he approaches the fight. But I believe that Tyson you know, comes out victorious, of course. But it is a massive fight. Eh? So I think it's oh, the way it sold out Wembley, never seen anything like it. Never seen anything like it. The prices of these tickets, I know people that have bought tickets and sold them on, pff, ridiculous. I've never heard anything like it. A, ru a Rumour has it, somebody that Royce knows as well spent £30,000 on four ringside tickets. Blimey, can you introduce me? I could do with rich mates like that. <laughs> well, if you can get four ringsides, I can pass you on. But I've heard they've got up to 50 grand. <laughs> are you going to, are you going to go along? Uh, Rumour has it, potential Royston might be on the card. Oh, so. really? Oh, wow. Well, listen, very quickly, then, we'll, 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 that, that would be some jump up, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would definitely be an ex exciting uh, fight to box on. Um, it's, it's a big platform, a massive platform, actually. That it's, it's, it's one of the biggest fights, and also, as Ben said, it's sold out in ridiculous fashion. And it would show me a lot of exposure, and I would like to be on it, especially just to sh show class my uh, skills again. And especially after getting rid of um, my first pro first pro fight, I would like to get in that one and uh, show them what I'm all about. Now I've got the ring rust off tonight, and... Um, moving on forwards. Brilliant. Well, in horse racing, they say, you know, the stable's in form. I've got to say, Ben, that your stable's definitely in form at the moment. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, it was a tough patch, you know, everybody boxing so close together, but we've come for it um, with, with the victories and uh, everybody's still got their titles and Royce has made his debut next week. We've got Pat McCormack making his debut, Mark Dickerson having his third fight. So it's a busy period, but uh, another successful one. Brilliant. Thanks, guys.